Ja, ik snap het niet, hoe kan ik die presentatie daar invoeren? Ik hoor je niet vanaf nu. So nice.
Hello. Ciao, mi senti, mi vedi? Okay. Hi. Yes, ti vedo, ti sento. Uh, ci siamo solo noi due, io non vedo l'altra ragazza. Può darsi che arriverà fra un po'. Mm -hmm. uh, io ho una presentazione, tu la puoi vedere? Mm -hmm. Storytelling your life story. Sì. Sì, anche l'altra volta ho voluto uh, presentartela, però ho pensato va bene, meglio che primo, prima ci conosciamo, poi dopo farò vedere la presentazione. Buona idea. Sì. Dammi un secondo, perché non sono espertissima, ho appena cambiato il computer e sto cercando di capire come aggiustare le due finestre una vicino all'altra. Tu mi vedi? Sì, sì, io ti vedo benissimo. Eh, io con la differenza del tempo è un casino per me, sempre mi sbaglio. Oh, ma perché mi sembrava di averti scritto 5 e mezza per me e 6 e mezza per te. Però si vede che magari non l'hai letto. Sì, può, può darsi che, che non, ho, non ho fatto caso. Hello! Nancy? Hey. Hello. Are you there? Yeah, I'm here. So we, we are going to talk English so, to, so that we can understand each other. Uh, Madam, uh, she is from Italy. She speaks uh, Italian but as well uh, English. So just let's introduce um, to each other. Yeah, uh, let me introduce myself. Uh, Hello, Madalena. I am Nancy. Hi, Nancy. Uh, I live in Amsterdam and I work in the Fashion Institute uh, High School of Amsterdam okay. uh, for two years. And uh, I met uh, Veronica by a girlfriend of mine. And that girlfriend is also my neighbor. Uh, <laughs> so, uh, yeah, here I am. <laughs> nice to meet you. <laughs> nice to meet you. And I'm, I live in London. Uh, I'm Italian. And then I'm a body therapist. And I met Veronica through a common group of uh, marketing online. And it was just a kind of a call because we never talked to each other before. Like we, we had a very nice chat a few days ago and we connected there and then. Okay. And that's it. Yeah. No, I'm, I'm from Bosnia and uh, Croatia. So Hi. we are neighbors. We are. Yeah. Ciao, come sta? <laughs> Molto bene. <laughs> bene, bene. I are love you, Italian are, language. Are you Bosnian or Croatian? I'm half blood. Half blood. I'm a both a little bit. Yeah. My my partner also is um, from ex Yugoslavia, from Serbia. Ah. But he's British now because he has been living here all his life. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we are all the same. Serbia and Bosnia is the same language. Yeah. Nice. 
uh, I'm struggling uh, how to share the screen. I have done it before, but now I don't know, or probably because I'm sharing the presentation, it's like this, because I, I would like to see uh, all of you at once, like on, on one screen, yeah? Because I cannot see you, uh, you both at the same time. I see you uh, when you talk, Madalena, for example, and then I see Nancy uh, you after you. What you have to do, like when you go in view on the top left, Yes. You click on it, and you should uh, you should select side by side gallery. Oh, side by side gallery. Okay. Yeah. And so you should see the three of us in a in a row, like in a vertical row next to the presentation. Uh, what is that exactly? Because you have the option more, right? The, no, on the top. So on the top right side of the screen, you have view. So if you scroll up, you have view. And you yeah. click on view, and you it gives you as option standard side by side speaker side by side gallery. If you select side by side gallery, okay. No, give me just one moment because I'm I'm looking. No, I have on the screen the the presentation now. Yeah, but it's, the view it's it's always there, no matter what you're showing. Oh, maybe you don't see it. Try to press ask. Yes. See? I see the microphone and then the video camera and then the security. All okay. Scroll with the with the mouse uh, with the arrow. Yes, on the top right side, and it should come out a little um, writing with view. Mm. You see, on the top right side. Yes, at, at the the uh, right hand. No, 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 no. Go on the. Okay, let me see. Um. Okay, try to go where you have the flag with the plus. This there, on the right side. Go, go mm. to the right. Yes, I'm to the right side now. But above, what I have all the options like more. Remote control, annotate, pause, pause, share, and new share, participant security, stop video and mod, mod like this. Mm, if you want, I can show you. I can show you my screen and I can show you how mine looks like. Uh, if you want to see it, I have had so like uh, um a session with with six people and I could see because I I, I have the business account. Uh, my, my account is not a normal one for Zoom. Um, let me share my... Your my screen. screen? Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Can you share two screens at one time? I'm wondering. <laughs> okay, let me see if you can see me now. Oh yes, now I I guess it. Did you find it? Yes, I can see myself. I can see you and and uh, Nancy too. That's good. Yes, it's perfect. It's separated, it's on the side, but it doesn't matter. So because I have to see the presentation, that's very important. Yeah, uh, just to I, I um, want to present this presentation this evening to uh, both of you just to, to create a, a create a structure for you, Madalena. And Can you repeat it again, Veronica, sorry. No, I said that I want to present this presentation this evening. So uh, to both of you, uh, first of all, for you, because you need to create the structure mm -hmm. of your own presentation. If you remember uh, the last time we have had about to create structure mm -hmm. in, in your own business and to create a presentation yeah. and to design it too. And first of all, I don't know if you have uh, any experience how to create a presentation. Uh, if you have, it's okay. If not, then just uh, ask me, then I will 
I explain everything step by step how to create that. Um, so I've, uh, as you see uh, on the first slide, uh, so you have to add the name of your company and then the logo and you see that I have integrated my name into the logo because it's very important to, to integrate your name as well. And you see, I don't know if you see, but it's uh, in the gold color, like Veronica Seban, webinar and design your life story. And so why I have used uh, this sentence, design your life story. Um, when you integrate uh, something in, in your program, it must be uh, like a segment of your life story that you have to as combine with your program. And it's about storytelling. So it's very uh, effectful and impactful when you share the life of your story with, with your uh, audience. And why? Because so you have to create a trustable relationship with your audience. And when you share with them your life story, so um, and your experience, of course, then they can see your way to be how you truly were. And that's uh, um, essential, yes, into the coaching just to like to become an irresistible magnet for for your audience because of that, so we need to use um, or, uh, our uh, life story or our experience. And because of that, so I called uh, this webinar, and this is a program at the same time, not only a webinar. This is only the introduction of the program, Design Your Life Story, yeah? And storytelling, so as you see, I, I have called this slide storytelling, your life story, as I mentioned it before. The secret to create a successful business is to get a relationship with the people, as I told it already, and to share your, your life story, your pain and frustration as well. So you don't have to hide your frustrations and your pain because we are human beings. And we are here just to heal each other, to help each other, yeah? Like I have my own struggles, my own problems, uh, my pain as well, as, as you know, Madalena, that I have two, uh, I have back problems and I would like from the depth of my heart to solve that, just I'm, I'm looking for a solution, yeah? And I think that every one of us is looking for a solution to, to solve our problem, our pain, <laughs> to heal our pain, yeah? And so even all um, the difficulties that we have had in our life, it's very smart to share with the people because the difficulties, they uh, have caused like uh, traumas, uh, mental and emotional blocks, yeah? And every single hum human being has this kind of, of issues, yeah? like in one of another manner, all, all of the people, they have these or emotional or mental blocks. Uh, the emotional blocks, they are caused because of, of the pain and difficulties of, in our life and, uh, and the mental blocks uh, because of the limiting beliefs, yes, or because of, uh, we, we don't have enough confidence in ourselves because we don't believe deeply in our power. And even there is people that they don't are aware of their power, of their potential, yeah? That it's within themselves, but they, they don't know how to use that. And yes, and I have discovered uh, through my own uh, transformation proce process that the secret that we, um, this, the, the secret that when you uh, have fear, uh, so it means uh, that there is like the success. Yes. Can you repeat it again when there is fear? When you feel fear, when you have fear, there is like the success. Okay. Yeah. Like the step just before. Yeah, but it, it holds our back just to moving forward. 
uh, and yeah, everything starts um, in your mind. So your vision and uh, your uh, perception, how do you perceive everything around you and your interaction with the people uh, who you are uh, connected with. And yeah, it's very important just to, to master your mind, just to prepare yourself to change the way of thinking and like to, to learn also to forgive, to accept, to be helped. I'm repeating uh, this like a thousand time every uh, single day when uh, or every single time when, when I'm giving a webinar or a, I have an interview. So I'm repeating this, why? Because we have to prepare our own our mind uh, to, to master our vision, just to, to have a look where are you now and where do you want to be? How are you now and how would you like to, to become? And so the next slide, so I call design your life story. So I have uh, written three books uh and much more but these books are the most important so they're not their books they are like coaching books guidance guidance books and one of uh, these books is like uh, a beautiful mind so because of that i said that we we need to master our mind to change the way of thinking because i i have this motto from a beautiful mind, uh, blows a beautiful life, yeah. And it's so. Uh, what is essential when you you create a presentation or when you create a program to give the structure and to create a strategy for your program. And as I said before, to associate your story to your expertise. It, you don't have to to tell everything what's happened in your life. You just to to grab the the most effective story of your life, which you can associate with your program, which which you can combine perfectly uh, to your program. For example, if the your experience is matching with with your program then you can combine it yeah and like to to use like uh uh as as uh, your uh, storytelling as as your life story yeah and in the storytelling so you you can you can choose by yourself a segment of the story to share with the people yeah and you can um it's very important to, to share with the people your frustration. Why? Because when you tell them where, um, where you're struggling, uh, wait, and you have been walked through the process and you have improved that, you are like a, a role model, like an example for them, yeah? Because you have had issues, but you have solved that because so you have uh, found the courage just to be true to yourself yes yeah? so to 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 improve all all the issues that that you have and okay uh, and the vulnerability is another uh, very important quality and what i mean by vulnerable to be vulnerable and coachable uh, vulnerable is when you accept to listen to someone else who already has experience in this specific, in that specific uh, uh, field, and coachable just to be open-minded and to learn because there is a lot of people that uh, your uh, their ego it's much bigger than their vulnerability, so they don't want to be flexible and to be coachable. And it's like as well a mental block that blocks the people to, to move forward forward and to transform themselves here yeah? because it's like 
uh, on impediment, impediment and that, that blocks uh, the transformation. I speak out experience because I have experienced this uh, before because I, I have been active 14 years in the um, very big organization, uh, Network Marketing uh, and Communication, where I have worked with 25 countries. And at that time, I thought yeah, that I know everything, but that's not true. I must learn, learn and I must keep learning every single day and every single day i discovered something new i'm still discovering something new i'm i still have to learn i think from every single person so that we meet we we can learn something and that's what i have mastered i mastered my mind and i changed uh, the way of thinking and as i said so it's very important to be true yourself uh, True, I mean just to recognize your your mistakes, yeah, and uh, just to accept that that you that you made mistakes and that you are making you are still making the mistakes. But the most important is that you can learn from that, that yeah, and just that you you can you can improve yourself uh, through learning. And, and and through coaching as, as well. And then you just to, to become better for yourself, but for another people too, because if you become better, then you can help another people as well. Uh, my life story, so, oh, uh, that's what I mean, uh, to share your life story. So with, uh, with your audience or with the people that, that you are inviting, so to your coaching. Uh, at the age of 18 years, I got married. Uh, I was in love like crazy. It was my, my first love. I think that at the same time, um, I have been very lucky to, to get married with my first love. Uh, not a lot of people are lucky so to, to get married with the first love. So I think that's very important for a woman. And at 20 years, so uh, was born my beautiful daughter. She's near me right now. She's already 20 years. <laughs> uh, but unfortunately, I was not happy in my marriage. So uh, we, we have been together only for five years. I was too young. So and then afterwards, I realized that as a, as a woman, um, I cannot move forward uh, with, with my husband. We had uh, different opinions and uh, just different vision. And I couldn't grow together with him. And to me, it's very important uh, to, to can grow, to can develop myself and to transform myself. And yes, at my age of 25 at the, or 24 at the end of 24 age I moved to Italy uh, where I have been uh, worked in into into tourism in, in the mountains uh, in uh, Modena and there after two years I moved to Netherlands when I was 27. And um, I had so the passion for for dance, and um, I have as well a picture, but I didn't add it in this presentation. Uh, when I was very very young, so uh, at school, I have been dancing for uh, uh, the New Year uh, celebration, and at twenty seven, I have. Um, founded my uh, events company in Netherlands uh, where I have been active for 10 years. So I have been dancing as well um, in all the country, in Belgium as well, in uh, Germany and two times in Italy too <laughs> for, uh, for two parties, yeah. It, they just invited me, it was in a restaurant 
and uh, the second time it was uh, by someone by some friends at home so we were like 20 people together we the um celebrated something i don't remember i think a birthday like this yeah and so i but at the same time uh, because i i had the events company and i did it part time just at the weekends and um, i worked at the same time into the uh, american organization yeah uh, I, and then uh, i have opened uh, two shops in fashion uh, and then in 2030 I got bankrupt with uh, with the shops, so it was a crazy crisis here in Netherlands, and I lost everything. Uh, and at that time, so I had a relationship, and my relationship uh, uh, was broke up as well. Then I got uh, a heart attack, and then I got problems with my back. So it it happened everything at the same time, like boom like my world was at once destroyed everything what i have built it up during these years like since 2005 till 2013 it's a long time at once like i don't know it 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 disappears like you know in the sky it i had that feeling yeah and I couldn't understand what was happening to me. And I had a lot of questions. How is this possible? So in, what, in one word, I lost myself. Everything I lost. And then I think that in this time, I got the a lot of pain uh, and mental blocks, even if I had a very strong mindset um the back pain and i was struggling uh, a lot but i have been able to to manage it in my own and of course with the support of of a lot of people who was around me from the american organization they helped me a lot because they have visited me at home and they have proposed to me to, to work from home. And so I was like crying and I was so demotivated and disparated because I lost everything. My health, I hadn't anymore. My health, I hadn't anymore. So my, my company, I couldn't do nothing. Like I was asking myself what to do with my life now even if if i had um, a lot of qualities and capabilities yes just to to manage my life and that's what what i mean with the mental and uh, emotional blocks because when we uh, are experiencing um, such terrible situations uh, uh, so from the emotional point of view unconsciously we are blocking ourselves, and that, I think that's what has happened uh, to me at that time. And it uh, has cost me a lot of time to unblock the pain and to work at myself. I'm still so working at myself to unblock the, the emotional blocks. And I don't have uh, mental blocks, but yes, I have emotional blocks. And, it's it's very very frustrating yeah because so when i'm a person who is analyzing everything like my own uh, attitude behavior and even everything what i have learned and realized realized till now in my life and when i was analyzing everything then i thought what i have done wrong and I discovered what I have uh, uh, done wrong. I, I give too much. I was too good for another people. I was good to myself, but sometimes I, uh, I forgot myself like this. 
And because of that, so I lost everything. And when, when I lost everything and I didn't have nothing, I realized that I was alone. When I didn't have money, I was alone. No one was near me. So it was a very, very hard lesson for me, but uh, I, I learned a lot. So I realized that the most important person in life, first of all, that's me. That I have to learn to prioritize myself and, and to, to appreciate myself, to love much more myself, just to take care much more of myself and then to take care of another people. That's, that's my hard, hard uh, lesson, yes, of life. And okay, so what I have been doing um, through the years, I have worked a lot uh, at myself, at my personal development, at my mental and emotional blocks, but I figured it, uh, I figured it out. And in 2015, I founded out my company Proactive Management specialized in project development and project management and the marketing strategy. And it uh, changed my life. It changed everything around me, this company, because then um, I met um, a lot of people, financiers, um, uh, where I have realized different projects uh, from scratch. Like it's, it's like when you create a company, you have only an idea, yeah? And the people, they came with their idea to me and I transformed their idea into a company, yeah? Just to, to explain you in, in a normal words, Nancy, so that you can understand me, yeah? Yeah. And so I have developed a incredible huge project uh, which I registered in Turkey, it's a resort. And I only give you uh, an example to can understand what is that exactly, yes. Uh, for example, if you want to, to open an hotel or to build an hotel, so first of all, you have to make a project uh, to, to do first of all the copywriting and to give a structure, yes to make a, a business plan, a marketing plan, and the budget. You have to manage your budget to know how much are you going to invest so in, in that project. And that's what, what I was doing. And at the same time, I was doing business coaching as well. So because I'm really passionate about business coaching, it's really my passion, yeah. Um, and in beginning of 2020, I changed the strategy of my company and I uh, integrated so the strategy of only business coaching. Uh, because so I must uh, travel a lot and I was always on the way. Then I decided to, to turn everything online, just to do everything online. And um, b b I think that uh, um, I have acquired a, a lot of experience and, and skills as well. And I had the feeling that I, ha that I can share uh, much more with the people that I can uh, help a lot of people. So with my uh, capabilities. And so as you see, um, I changed the strategy at the beginning of 2020 and I created Business Power Academy, uh, my business uh, the coaching company. And so I'm very good in marketing strategies as well as to, to create strategies and online uh, programs for entrepreneurs and coaches. 
and my clients calls me the queen strategist. So because I'm so passionate about strategies, about marketing strategies, so they call me the queen strategist because of my limitless creativity in the creation of, of strategies. And as I told you before, I have uh, written many books. Uh, uh, a Beautiful Mind, Master Your Life, uh, Coaching Gun, Guidance, uh, Business Power Academy, me and many others. And uh, uh, business and NLP coaching programs as Design Your Life Story, Actions Accelerator, um, Time and Health Management, uh, Yourself, uh, Confidence and Abundance and many others. Uh, so additional to my core business, I create as well the Global Business Power Academy Live Forum, uh, where we meet with coaches from all the world, with trainers, uh, mentors, and entrepreneurs, and where we share uh, our experience and we learn from each other. So. It's like, exact, like exactly what I'm doing now that I'm sharing with you my, my life story and experience. And your person, you and your personal development, uh, Nancy, I think that this is more uh, for you, but Madalena, I think that you, you can learn as well something, how to, to be successful uh, the most entrepreneurs, so they ask me this question, how to become uh, successful. But I'm, um, so I would like to know from you, uh, how do you think that you can uh, become successful? Uh, uh, you, you mean uh, that I take a, um, a question? Yeah. Yes, yes. Well, uh my experience and uh, all these years um, mm -hmm. i started at, at uh, when i was a little child with uh, modeling and uh, my mother and my family uh, started take pictures of me and uh, i keep it um, short not too long story mm -hmm. and uh, and then later i started belly dancing and had passion for that and i was i was a child that love to to try new things and i was so um ent enthusiastic and ambitious and i just love to dance and modeling and you know be sometimes in the spotlight and everything so in all, all of the years i um uh throwing myself like uh, fighting for uh to be to make myself successful to meet new people and i did that all over the years i keep uh, contact with people and uh, because I'm from nature really really social mm -hmm. and uh, the more new people I met the, uh, I just love it and uh, yeah I meet lots of people and I have many girlfriends uh, also uh, outside Netherlands I have girlfriends and the people that I know and um, and I work really in lots of places uh, in the two hotels I work I work in the kindergarten I worked in the, in the, on the farm with, with animals, so a lot of experience. Uh, I yeah, can yeah, but could you be specific? Just give an answer. How uh, do you think that you could become successful? Successful. Um, my opinion. Um, how to be successful? Do you have any idea how to become successful? Um, I think it depends also, you, you have to also to have some kind of money for it, budget, and a good contact, uh, a specific contact with people that can grow with you together and yeah, just um, work as a team someplace, somewhere, and I think something like that. So uh, Yes, uh, you also just a part of the of the right answer, but I will help you. <laughs> yeah. Uh, you can uh, become successful when you transform the life of another people, when you provide them a solution, 
when you you take the responsibility to 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 be ready to help another people and and to be open minded yes and uh, to, to don't underestimate the power of another people because every single human being has uh, a potentiality which is hiding with with him, uh, himself yeah and oh. if you yes if you have the ability to discover that power it uh, can happen that the person can could have uh, a potential who who could be much more powerful than you for example yeah it's it's happened to me believe me because uh, so i have worked really with thousands of people and there is a, a very modest people that they don't show to you they are very good listeners so they are listening to you very attentively and after that they have been listening to you then they are making a conclusion and then they are starting so to to speak so it's uh, so we call this like uh, a mastery yeah 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 i think everybody is successful in 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 um in their own way like i'm su successful i i did lots of work uh, hotel and uh, what i mentioned and uh, my success personally was like the first time I, um, how you say that in English, uh, I was one of the models in the fashion show, mm -hmm. like the school that I was working. And it was really an honor. So they chose me to be like in a fashion, fashion show and uh, to be one of the models to presenting the the design that the student uh, made. The collection, the collection. The collection. So it was a really nice experience, and for me, it was was a big success to, to yeah, uh, to live that finally. I was one of my wishes, and that one of my wishes came true. So yeah, it's um, so it's, a, feel, it's amazing. I feel already successful, so I don't have to have I don't know, lots of cars. I don't know in a village or something. You know, I, I feel already successful. So that's my opinion. So. Uh, Madeleine, what do you think? Uh, what, uh, how can you become successful in your opinion? Um, believe in it. Hmm? Uh -huh. Believe in it. Believe yes. that I can become successful. Um, I, I was just like um, talking about that with um, psychologist that she was saying how. Um, Success comes from um, in Italian. <clears throat> Successo comes from this verb, which is succedere, so to make things happen. Yes, from the depth of your heart. And I really agree with it. So yes, yeah, I agree with what you were saying, Menti, that it's not about what you gain, but it's what what you want to make happen for yourself. Yes, and like the struggle from that. Can you hear me? Yeah, that I now, can yes. make happen what I want for me, and that, that's the hardest part for me to really believe that I can make it happen. It's, it, yeah. it's is that hard to you? Yeah, definitely. Because why? That I have a lot of um, resistances. Oh, for example, I'm very. Um, like I'm very good at dealing with the emotions. Yeah. <laughs> Processing them and I... Um, I'm quite honest with myself, with mm -hmm. all my difficulties on an emotional side. So it doesn't come as a difficulty for me. So it's very easy for me to relate to people because of that, because I'm, I'm very transparent. Mm -hmm. with my difficulties, that doesn't, doesn't mean that I don't have, I still have, it's just mm -hmm. like, what it is is what you see yeah yeah but i have resistances on uh you know like um, uh what kind I of... I'm, I'm searching for the word in english um like structure mental structure that okay comes from my um, culture yeah my italian culture and from the 
here where I grew up. I grew up in the Alps. So it's very like a very rural area. So kind of a very conservative, very Catholic, mm -hmm. uh, very traditional. Mm -hmm. And there are, despite the fact that I've been working on it for the last 25 years, <laughs> mm -hmm. uh, uh, there are still structures in my mind, like we all have. Mm -hmm. And one of these, precisely because I grew up in a very conservative and Catholic, is that you shouldn't have, yeah. you, shouldn't, you shouldn't aim to success because you should be humble and you should have a, like a kind of a lower profile. And especially being a woman, your gratification should be family, you know, yes. which, which I don't have. Not because I don't want like, like just life didn't bring this to my and I and I think that women can but yes. I don't think that's the only way I think there are many different ones so he, uh, may I give you one tip no wait a second let me just finish this and then I want the tip um you know when even if you know that something that you're thinking is not real in the back of your mind is still playing that record oh yeah and you okay. you you get the feeling that it's um so uh we call this in the nlp um the coaching convictions exactly yeah. uh, this is the 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 family system where you grew up so before and you are like there in the family system you are uh, still there so you have to cut that to leave it. Just, you know how it's a separated world mm -hmm. that you don't have too much with, with your, with your uh, present. Like you yeah. are, you are, you are living now. That's yeah. in the past. It doesn't match. Yes, it, it, it's like you have to separate that from your career. I'm, I have done this too. As I'm, I'm like you, so I grew up in, in like uh, in the traditions, and my family, family still so traditional, and the one that we are living like this. But I separated that from my work. It's like this is your private life, and don't has nothing in common with your work. It's like. These are a little bit uh, convictions and mental blocks as well, but it's not your fault. So it's just your education. And it's it's quite difficult to you, I can imagine, to transform that, like the convictions and the, the education. No, that's not what I meant. No? No. But what do you mean exactly? Um... It doesn't have to do with that. Like I can see that these are still plain. Mm -hmm. What I find difficult is um, because they they those those kind of paradigms and structure they still play in your life. It's not that you decide oh they don't count it they don't play. Of it. course, of course, yeah. They are like they build up your personality. So yes, it's a very articulated process of disassembling yourself so it just doesn't happen yeah. overnight yeah and while it's happening uh i see that there are still that still keeps me trapped but oh, that doesn't okay. mean that i have to wait until i've done all the work to be successful in my work okay. so for example what i feel that i need is well i'm talking about myself <laughs> yeah yeah no but that's great that's okay that's okay because it's about you it's about your just, personal development it's just tools to give structure so that every time i slip back into this old paradigm yeah those little steps just remind me okay that that is still playing let it play you're gonna work on it some some other time but now just stick to what you decided which mm -hmm. is taking this step, even if now there's this little voice that plays in the back of your head saying, it's not worth it, you'll never succeed. Oh, again, you have done it already. It's not limiting beliefs, limiting beliefs and convictions, yes. So, 
I don't want to work on it because I'm already working on it somewhere else. But mm -hmm. what I need is kind of, um, yeah, like um, some tools that keep me on track mm -hmm. on my marketing part because that's the one. Yeah, and how about your values? So you have to 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 dive into your uh, values and just to, to have a look. Your? Values, your values. My I tuoi valori dalla vita. Oh yeah, yeah. But that I'm already doing. So what, like, what I feel like it's a job that I'm already doing on my own in another context. So like, what I feel that I need is just like a kind of a structure to keep me on track. Does it make sense? Yeah. yeah on yeah. the very practical level, because I'm very good at diving. I'm mm -hmm. not as good as at becoming focused on yeah. the practical level yeah that's yeah. what i need i need a little bit of a yeah i feel i need you know like dots you yeah. know to then create it... to create consistency yeah yeah exactly yeah. consistency is the right word yes is what i'm I, I lack uh but uh you can make a plan for yourself it's about time management yeah do you like that it's about what time time management uh, time management yeah definitely do you like that or not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It resonates. No, what uh, what I'm trying to say that uh, it's only a tip that I can give you just to to plan everything out. So to schedule to schedule everything on your agenda every single day, uh, everything what you you are doing. Like if you want to go every single day for a walk, just plan it out and just make notes in your agenda. Or for example, if you don't feel great one day and you have to do some stuff, some marketing stuff for to work at your program, yeah? Um, just you, you try to do it every single day, little by little, but every single day. I have these two like you, but I created already consistency and it's very hard because uh, we call this procrastination. Definitely. Yeah. Not, not just you. <laughs> <laughs> Especially after the celebrations of the new year, uh, you know, and Christmas, oh, it was terrible. Today I pushed myself, you know, to to record three videos, and I must create another presentation. But it's everything is marketing, you know. So I wanted to share with you that presentation. It's about sales. But I, I, a, I can I ask you one. Yes. <clears throat> Because something that came to my attention during this holiday mm -hmm. <clears throat> that I don't like, I don't like marketing, which I always knew. Yes. And I don't like this kind of pushy and uh, playing on um, needs and pain points and stuff like that. I find it very manipulative and I don't like it. And um, I'm telling you because I've done already marketing, so I know that it's all about that, you know? Yeah. And, and then someone was, was, was I, don't, I don't remember where, like I was listening to a, um, a, a Facebook live mm -hmm. and he was saying about like a new way of doing marketing, which is connected to just, you know, the law of, um, wait, sorry, wait a second, because I'm thinking in Italian, just give me a second. Just, give, just say it in Italian. No, no, I don't know if it feels okay. better for Nancy. Uh, I like the way the law like of giving and receiving so like a circle so, uh, oh this is all about energy yeah, you have exactly. to it's have very, it's very, very important energy. to create a, a balance in your own energy to learn uh, to giving and receiving yeah it's very very important no, i have saying that applied to marketing so not do not do it like in a structure way like because i want to like target this client and do this and have three videos a week but it was more like 
which I haven't been able to do for myself, but the mm-hmm. idea was um, connect to what you want to offer, like you were saying before, what you want to make available for the other people. Which yes. I don't know, for myself, it is my knowledge of the body, the connection with the motion, how it's trapped, yes. my, my joy for dancing also, which I share with both of you. <laughs> and so this is, this is what I can share and my expertise in the body, in working with the body. Mm-hmm. And, and what I feel that I lack is just a way of expressing it because I don't want to convince anyone that they need me because it feels manipulative to me. But what, I will, but what I feel that I need is just to become visible so that whoever feels that it resonates with how I do things can come to me. But I'm not the only option. Like there are other that are as good or it doesn't matter if they're better or worse, but they are good for others. But I don't want to play with this kind of, come here, you're going to get the best deal. I don't care. I'm not the best deal. No. You know what I mean? Yes, but you don't you don't have to be manipulative. That's wrong, you know. You have to be uh, true to yeah. yourself. You have to be yourself. You have to use your way to be. You you have beautiful qualities, beautiful capabilities. So you are an honest person and that's much more valuable than the manipulations. And believe me that people who is manipulating another people just to, to create a lead at the end, they lose. Why? Because no one is crazy or stupid. Like at the end, the people, they understand that. So and so, because I can see people that they what they offer is valuable, but I still don't like the way they do marketing. And I still don't like how pushy they are. So no. much so that despite the fact that I see that there's value in what they do, I get pushed away because I feel it's too much in your face. No, 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 no. I don't like that. So what what I'm doing, I'm 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 myself. So I'm using my experience, like my own life story, and I'm sharing what I have created by myself. I'm like, you. I don't care what uh, what is doing on other people or that they are manipulating like this. It's not a smart way to manipulate people, you know, because at the end, uh, you, you, you don't achieve nothing with manipulation. Yeah. When, when the people, they see your, your true way to be, they will appreciate you. They will appreciate your honesty because we, I have asked both of you and how is to become uh, successful in your opinion, yeah? We get the success through appreciation, through, through our qualities, through you, the warmth of your heart, so through your honesty. And when you are honest, uh, uh, the people appreciate you and the people yeah. give, the people pay you because of your qualities because you help them it's not about money it's not about sales we don't sell so like we just are solving the problems of another people we are helping them and through appreciation so we get paid and this is a very very huge secret that a lot of people it's not it's not that it's a secret but uh, what a lot of people are uh, are doing wrong that they are focused on money. They are not focused to help another people, and that's that makes huge difference. A lot of people they don't want to do nothing for free because their focus is focused on money and not to help another people. Yeah, so, and if you only think about the money, then it it can block you. So it's sometimes yes. You have- uh, put the money aside and just help and after that help him maybe later in success maybe of that when you work together with that person well you first to help each other and then after that maybe uh, money can get you know spontaneously yeah but you I know think. you know uh, the um, the most important is that the people if they don't know you they don't want to pay you if the people don't know your way to be, 
And if they don't trust you, and if they see that you are not honest to them, they don't want to buy nothing from you. Is there about, if you are lying to the people, they don't want to buy nothing from you. Yeah. It's like Madeleine said, but they are manipulating. Yes, of course. And because of that, I don't, I don't want to hear them. Just, I don't want to follow that kind of people. Yeah. And, and you know, so when, when you help the people, when you, you show uh, to the people your, your truly way to be as you are born, you know, with frustrations, uh, with, with, with issues, with everything, because you don't need to be perfect to can help another people. You, you have to be true. Yeah. And when you, you are true, so the, the people will pay you, they will appreciate you. Is there about? You know, when the people is grateful to you, they, they will ask you, I want to work with you. I need your help. Can you help me, please? Yeah. And, and I know like a lot of people like this, that they have truly a solution that they offer you a solution and they said, okay, so I have here a solution, I can help you. And the people, they know what you are worth because they see your value. When the people so see, uh, see your value, they pay you. They ask, uh, so you, okay, I want, I want your guidance like this. Okay, so uh, it, this, uh, but this topic was very interesting because of that. So I have uh, asked you both, um, what is your uh, opinion how to be successful? But it, everything it's about appreciation and passion. When you do everything with, with passion uh, and the, the people appreciate you, you become unconsciously successful. Because you are doing everything from the depth of your heart, you're you are not there for only to get money. Of course, uh, all all of us we need money just to pay our bills and and everything. That's logical. But the primary goal must be to help the people, and then then the money. Yes, help each other. Yes, to help each other, to support each other, to understand, to be understandable, so to, to, to the people. That's why, why is the word, uh, uh, the word in this world, why is the word humanity? What means humanity? Yes, so it's, well, yes it's, it's to be understandable, it's to be helpful. Yeah, people need each other. No, no one on earth can, can do everything alone. We need each other. No, you know, I have this uh, this motto and I'm saying, if you are alone, you are no one alone. You So we need each other just to help each other and to grow together. Because if you are alone, who is going to appreciate you? No one. So you need the other people to be appreciated. Yes. Yeah. And uh, about you, so and your identity, how do you present yourself? That's very, very important. And what's your self-image? Uh, for me, you mean how I, with people or uh, in general? What is exactly? Your identity about yourself. What do you think about, about yourself, about your qualities, about uh, your frustration, about your pain about everything like new so we are talking to each other how do you how what do you think about yourself well first of all uh, everything what i've been through in life the negative and the positive i'm uh, i can say proudly that i'm proud of myself and uh, lots of things i achieved and uh yeah what can i tell extra <laughs> My identity. Um, well, I have some little flaws and uh, I work every day on myself. So it's not like uh, if I do something and I say, oh, Nancy, 
did I really do that? Oh, I have to stop doing that. You know, sometimes I have lost mm -hmm. and, uh, but I can, I can tell and I can see a lots of people uh, give me compliments. So I have, I have really good qualities and I love to showing it. And uh, one of my qualities, uh, kind, sweet, I'm generous. You know, I love to uh, uh, welcome uh, people into uh, uh, my home, uh, to uh, also in the school to make a coffee, tea and bring something, make something, talk with people, anybody. So I don't know what more I can tell about myself. Yeah, that's a little bit of that. That's, a be that's beautiful, but how good do you know yourself? How good? Hmm. Are you, I can are you aware of uh, of your shortcomings or are you aware of your qualities? Uh, are you aware of the fact where are you good at and where are you less good at? What do you have to improve? Well, um, my, uh, my weak spot is uh, when I drink something uh, lots of times, I mean, all over the years, sugar and then also, in that moment, I also said to myself, Nancy, you have to drink in my head. Then I say, water. But still, every time I, for, I, for, I forget or I don't know, I just don't think about drinking more water. I always drink like, I don't know, drinking coffee, a glass of milk. And, and I know those things are actually not so good for my skin. And I noticed that. So my skin is not really 100%. I mean... Uh, I'm hygiene, you know, I care about my skin, but some detail and uh, the way I eat and drink and I eat and drink healthy as possible. But yeah, that's some one of my flaws. But the, the good thing about myself is I'm like uh, everything. OK, uh, what is good for my skin? What can I do for myself? OK, going outside. OK, I didn't go with sport uh, today. I do it tomorrow the whole day. I take my dog out. I've been uh, the whole day outside. And mm -hmm. uh, someday I'm in my house busy. So, um, yeah. Uh, but uh, are you aware, for example, um, about your personal development? What could you improve in your life? What, or what would you like to improve in your life or to change? Well, I want to improve. Um, I want to learn and try more things online, uh, everything online and with the computer because I'm real a uh, reality person. I'm more classic lady than the modern time this time, you know, in this age. I, I understand, yeah. I'm so, trying, you know, that's why I love to meet someone uh, like you, Veronica, that teaches me and yeah, I don't have experience everything so online and you know, webcam and everything. I'm more a person like meeting in person in life. People. Practical, you are more practical. Yeah, uh, practical woman I am, yes, <laughs> practical. <laughs> and also really creative, actually. <laughs> really creative, okay, that's nice. Yeah. Uh, okay, so you want to 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 improve the, these qualities just to, to learn the, how to to create programs or uh, or to prepare yourself uh, to become an entrepreneur online, right? Yeah, yeah. yes. Okay, that's nice. Mm -hmm. uh, Madeleine, what do you think uh, about your identity? So, what would you like to change and to improve as well mm. in your own life? I guess just consistency. That's Only consistency. Yeah, I think I quite like myself. Okay, <laughs> that's nice. I've been, doing, I've been doing a great job. Yes. Um, the thing that I feel that I need the most, not just work-wise, but in general in my life, it's we give me some great myself more credit and because it's not that I don't give myself credit, but then I just go down like, oh, but it's not a big deal what I do. Uh, who's interested? You know, I go into this <laughs> instead of, no, what I'm doing is great. For yes. someone it is, for someone it's not. Let's just keep showing it. Well, yeah. I go into hiding because I'm, I'm like you, Nancy. I hate, I, well, 
you, you maybe you don't but i hate computer i hate technology i really prefer to yeah. have a you know, show with 30 people in front of me and there's no problem because i can handle it but face to face and i hate all this stuff so that's my biggest resistance it's not my oh okay that's what you mean with resistance that you don't like it you don't that's like so... the tech you don't like the technology at all we have we have little bit in common madalena <laughs> definitely quite a bit i'm very practical also <laughs> <laughs> okay, uh, you know, I'm not uh, the best one in the technology. I'm not uh, so good uh, is, uh, with the technology, but I'm trying to do my best just because I need it. Yeah. It's not because I like it, but because yeah. I need it. And so uh, regarding the, the technical aspects, oh, sometimes I'm terrible, but I'm able to to, to figure it out, you know, and that's the most important because I think that every one of us don't have passion for, for technology, but if you need, so you have to learn just, I mean, <laughs> because you can, you can help another people. First of all, uh, you, you have to, to take a look at the benefits of this. First of all, not at the negative parts, what you don't like, but at the positive uh, side. Yeah. And then yeah. just just write on the paper which benefits do you have from from learning the, the technologies, yeah? Like you you can perform your knowledge and then you can help another people and you can your money, yeah. So there are a lot of uh, advantages, not only disadvantages. <laughs> yeah. Okay. And you, you have had, Madeleine, also about uh, convictions uh, because you said that it's like a resistance for you, but we will talk so another time uh, about, there, about that. And mission and vision. So, uh, uh, Nancy, this is... Uh, a very transformational program, design your life story, because it transforms everything in you, in your behavior, or attitude, your way of thinking, and you, so you become more aware of yourself, of your qualities, of what you are doing wrong and what you are going, doing good, what are you good at and what are you less good at. So what is your mission in your life, Nancy? and your vision as well? Um, my mission? Yes. Well, to, um, I don't know, um, first of all, my, my campaign, uh, Top Natural Beauty, what I started it in uh, 2016. And uh, I wish uh, that uh, that involving, and I'm trying to do my best. Uh, exactly this point, um, these days, actually, I uh, am planning to uh, change my logan, slogan in a different picture and everything. So, uh, because I have the same picture a lot of your, when I started it. So I knew a new slogan. But my mission in life is just to keep modeling, to keep help people, to uh, work with people and uh, try to reach contact and, and just build something for myself. And uh, it, then I don't have to go like, I going to living in another city. No, I don't have to go, uh, I can stay in Amsterdam as it, but know. what what is your passion because uh, when um, you follow your heart and your passion you uh, you can get clarity about your mission and vision because you are not clear about their about your mission and vision you want to help people but you have to be very very specific how and what how and why make notes just take a pen and write it down for yourself what how and why yeah mm -hmm. these uh, three uh, questions will help you a lot to get clarity what okay I what what down. what do you want to do how do you want to do and why do you want to do that and uh, what would you like to to do it to 
just to help the people and how are you gonna do that so you have to make a choice for yourself for yourself just do you want to to help the people through your knowledge for any yeah, yeah. for animals or or would you like to provide another kind of uh, of 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 trainings or so you have to make a choice for yourself to just because you need to do that to help the people yeah if the people are going to ask you uh, so how can you help me so then you have to be very clear like if you like you have to create a brand from that from your idea that can be very helpful for other people yeah yeah i i my vision is like to also have a video like um how you say uh, a channel a channel video or uh, lots of videos about myself where, I, where i'm talking yeah uh, about me, my goals and my story and uh, about my campaign, Top Natural Beauty on Facebook and on Instagram is the same title. So um, we call this yeah. mindset so you can mot motivate another girls or, or women through mindset, uh, through, through storytelling, just because you share your life story and then you can create your own uh, channel on YouTube as yeah. well, you can go as well live, but before you go live, it's not allowed to go live uh, for the first time through YouTube. I did it already. You have, uh, uh, first of all, to create a channel. So to upload videos there and just to make a topic and to, to inspire and motivate the women, for example, or, or people who is interested in animals that you can, uh, provide them trainings how to ed educate the animals, for example. Yes, yeah? yes. exactly. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, how to educate the animals because that's that's very difficult. Not everyone knows how to educate an uh, a dog, or you know, it's I mean, it's like a child. Yeah. <laughs> and you have and you have this the knowledge, you have the experience. Yeah. Yes. Uh, okay, so that's about knowledge, knowledge and abilities, awareness that I mentioned uh, uh, right now, um, behavior and environment. So to can create it, you need to to create the right environment, so the right network to can provide your knowledge. But um, to create your own channel, you have to to learn some skills to to master your skills to know how to create the channel because you have to integrate some publicity and to target people as well. So into your channel that and to invite them to, to watch your, your videos and to share your videos. So everywhere like on, on Facebook, on, on Instagram and uh, go so on by WhatsApp, by the way. It will be very nice if you can uh, make an uh, account on WhatsApp, if that's not uh, annoying for you, but it's very important, yeah. It will be as well, so for uh, not only for me, but for more people, it will be much easier to, to share everything with you. Okay, so be, uh, I, I said that uh, from your idea, you can make your own brand and determine uh, first of all your strategy and style so you have to create a strategy and to integrate a segment of your life story as i told uh, it before and to take a stand so it mean it means that uh, you have to take the responsibility to show up to create consistency like if you uh, go live twice a week it means that every single week at, at the same time you have to be there <laughs> i know that exactly yeah yeah it's true it's true <laughs> it doesn't matter if it's raining or if it's snowing outside but you have to be there just yeah to to be consistent and 
that, that's what what I, why I asked you to describe specifically your mission and vision. Yeah. So you and your purpose. So what's your purpose? The, the purpose is the most important. Yeah. You have to know what's your purpose. You you must be able to explain that to the people. Yeah. If the people will ask you what's your purpose, so you you have to to explain that. Purpose to um, give a good example to into the world. About, your uh, yeah, but your 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 goals as well. So how can you you achieve your goals? And then if you are gonna uh, provide your guidance and coaching uh, to the people how to uh, educate the animals, then you have to teach them as well. The same, yeah. Yeah. So because of that, you need you need to to learn that. Yes. What is in your opinion our purpose? My purpose. No, and generally. So, what is in your opinion our purpose? Uh, purpose in English word. How you say that? Uh, what is in Dutch purpose? Uh, Madalena, could you help here? Yeah. The aim, goal, reason. Does it make any yeah, sense? It's, it's a goal, yeah. yeah. Purpose, uh, it's a goal. We have primary and secondary goals for short and long term. So it means that, and then you have to make a plan how to achieve your goals, yeah? It's like a action plan. Ah. Well, I had action plan and, and, and goal and, and uh, purpose. So that's why I started the, the company in, on Facebook first time. And then later on Instagram, the same title. Um, because all over the years uh, before I started it uh, mm -hmm. with Pop Natural Beauty and uh, it's uh, that the title is says it all, Pop Natural Beauty. So it's beauty, but natural. So yeah, yeah. I started it because when I noticed that lots of people see beauty as like uh, makeup and like uh, things that for me, I can really not tell that that I can call that beauty, you know, for <laughs> me, a beauty, real beauty will always be natural, like not too much makeup, not tattoos, not smoking and everything. So that's why I started the company. Okay. And my company is also about uh, uh, top natural beauty. It's not like from outside, but also inside. It's love, respect, and the word um, uh, well-being, justice, and peace, and freedom. And what is your purpose then? So in, in, uh, in this case, what's and your goal? Just to uh, share my, uh, my opinion about it and just to, yeah. But how do you want to help people through this, through through your purpose, through your mission? Uh, especially ladies, to, to see uh, people that you can be beautiful without makeup. You can you can be beautiful without tattoos. Uh, yes, but what is your solution? You have to provide them a solution that they come to you. Uh, how can how can they achieve this? Uh, the beauty, the natural beauty. You have to, to give them something. Well, first of all, when you, when you uh, uh, let example, smoker, 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 you cannot easily say to the smoker like, okay, quit now with smoking. No, it's hard. I know that. But it's depending on that person. That person has to want it themselves. Not because of me. I was just only presenting. And if he reads uh, on my page, everything, what I, my opinion is, and what I'm all about and uh, what I present. I understand then... what I, I'm trying to help you and to, to get for you more clarity. In this case, so it means that you are more an influencer because you don't provide a solution. You have to give them something like how to teach them how to create a healthy lifestyle. Yeah. And then you have to, to give them uh, examples to eat more healthy food, 
uh, to drink more water instead of uh, to, to, to drink juices or, or sugar or, or tea without sugar or this kind of things, yeah? And yeah, this, is, this, is, this is your solution. This is your strategy. Did. This is in, uh, so in, into the marketing, we call this like a strategy. You are creating your strategy and through your strategy, so you help the people. Yeah, I already, I already did that. So I have lots of <laughs> status. You know what the status? That is mean texting, like yeah, yeah. on Facebook. About yeah, yeah, food yeah. And, and I, um, how you say? I stripped everything out. Like, okay, this is this. Now I talking about uh, like uh, healthy products. Okay, uh, banana. Banana is good for energy and etc. 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 So oh, I already okay, did. Okay. Okay. But okay. I keep doing that and I keep uh, saying to myself, okay, what can I do now next and new and more? So I'm, I'm trying. So, you know, brainwashing, myself, uh, <laughs> brain powering myself. <laughs> can I tell you something, Nancy? Yeah. What, um, like among your friends that you have, like girlfriends that you have, um, what is the area where you help them the most, the, where, where your girlfriends ask for your advice the most? Uh, well, the most in Amsterdam where I'm living, yeah. but uh, all in, in over the years, I was also traveling a lot when I was younger. Uh, no, now. no, 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 I ask you. So where, where is the area of your life where your friends ask you advice the most? You understand that? Oh, what do they need the most? What do they need like the when, most? When your friends connect with you, which, what is that you help them the most with? Well, uh, also my own family. Every year, uh, uh, there is always a person that, uh, I don't know, out, out of nowhere on internet and also on the street. Huh? Nancy, hello, uh, I mean, not Nancy, not my name. Hello, lady, you're so beautiful. How, how do you do that with your hair? Or you're dressing so nice. So where can I buy that, what you're wearing? So uh, there are some moments spontaneous that people ask me, like, where do you get that? Uh, how did you achieve that? Uh, how are you? Where are you and what's you, the most you, common question? Um, you mean in general or about the food or? In general, what's yes. the question yes. that you have been asked the most among all of them? Well, they are tell, they asking me like, uh, yeah, where, where I'm working and uh, No, 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 but there's, there think? is always one question that you are, you are asked the most. You're, I'm going to help most. you. I'm going to help you. Your niche is the natural beauty, yeah? Uh, I know, I know. Uh, no, no, the question just, is, um, just get, how just, can I stay so fit, so skinny? That, that's actually a good question. Yes, I was yes. Thinking. So maybe you can start from but there. I, 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 I'm telling that uh, how much I eat, I, steep, I, I still uh, staying like this with my body. So that you are very that fit, that, that you are very fit and that you look very young and beautiful. And you have, it's like you are doing something and that's a solution just to keep yourself young and fit. The same you have to share with, with the people. It, that, that is the solution, yeah? Do you understand yeah. what I mean? Because from this, you can, you can make your own brand. You can design your own brand, your own company. And if yeah. you will tell the people what you are doing, how you are doing and why, then you can help them too. And you can do that yeah. online, providing trainings, giving guidance, because you are already, uh, you have already experience here in, in, in this field. Yeah. Yeah. It's not something new that you have to learn, but because you are doing already for years and it, it could be very easy to you. Yeah, I, I also made my own slogan. So you call it a brand, but I call it title. The top net to on Facebook, you saw It's it. a niche, it's a niche. This is your niche, the, uh, being, being beautiful naturally in a natural way, right? Yeah, 
it's not only a, a, about me. I mean, it's a title and it's a company and it, it's also my portfolio because it's modeling yeah. work also. You see my pictures. But yeah. Present, okay. Presenting outside and inside. So like love, respect and presenting also like, okay, no tattoo, no smoking. So top natural beauties. Yeah. In the marketing, we call that tone of voice. Yes, that is the tone of voice of your brand. And the culture, it's like um, we are known for effective coaching. By for, uh, for example, yeah, me. I'm, I'm now yeah. as a queen strategist, yeah. Uh, and you, what is distinguishing you? How, how do you recognize or how do they recognize you, the people? What is the culture of your of your company? Well, depends. Do you mean people that already know me or strange yeah. people? People that mm. are from... No, the people that already know you. For example, uh, that you offer them, uh, you provide them good advice or that you, you share uh, valuable, uh, I don't know, uh, recipes with them, like uh, what they call the eat, uh, how could they create a healthy lifestyle like this? For example, no, no. for example, for women, because you have a, a beautiful and, and, and healthy skin, then you share with them your cigarette. So what's your cigarette like? How can they achieve uh, the, the same results like you? How can they uh, get a beautiful skin? Well, uh, <laughs> My skin is for uh, yeah. It's it's in the DNA. It's in the in the family. Why, why I'm looking like this? <laughs> so it's uh, it's hard to tell. Uh, but uh, but one of the reasons is uh, uh, everything what I eat. I I don't use uh, salt. I don't salt my food. So mm -hmm. as everything so healthy as possible. And uh, but the one uh, like uh, um, a sweet spot of mine is sugar. It, it's the funny of me. I don't use salt not at all but sugar is like i'm little addicted of sugar so okay. i tell myself like i i say i am trying to uh, talk about uh, healthy but i am not 100 percent healthy so i'm trying uh, but i'm still not when i'm drinking something not using sugar but honey okay honey everything that i drink uh, when i can use honey with use honey instead of sugar so i'm only trying the, uh, to to help you to get clarity about uh, what you want to do yeah okay let's uh, move forward because so uh, Lika, i have to go because it's seven. Oh, okay uh, i sorry i didn't imagine it was gonna be that long yes it's very long so i i thought that i i can figure it out in a short time but it it takes a very long That's time okay. Do you I, mind if I leave and then we reschedule the... Yes, we will do that. Just just let me know uh, when when you are available, yeah. we will do that, yeah? I'll write you, yeah, in half an hour. Mm -hmm. so. Yes, thank oh. you so much for thank your you time. Thank you so much, it was really good, like I took lots of notes. <laughs> one, thing, one thing I want to say, uh, I forget to say, uh, I am not always good at long speeches and uh, what you telling these questions to me but i was thinking like okay so yeah this is for me also first time so that's why no don't don't just don't worry about this it's it's normal you you will learn to do that so thank you no, no, madalena no, no. for your time and sorry thank you so, so much for this it was really precious really it, yeah. uh, thank you too so we will reschedule uh, our meeting yeah, the yes ones, yeah better Okay. okay, have, have a, a good, good evening. Bye bye. Have a nice evening. Nancy, you can't believe her. Yeah, of course, I stay. She <laughs> uh, will, we can further hand in the Netherlands for me, Mark needs to further in the Netherlands. Yeah. Ja, om, om jouw eigen merk te worden, want eigenlijk, uh, ik had deze afspraak met, uh, met deze vrouw, uh, omdat ze, ze wil ook haar eigen merk opbouwen. En ook, ze heeft er al een eigen programma, alleen maar één. 
En ze wil het professioneel gaan doen. Uh, maar het duurt lang, omdat ik heb jullie vragen gesteld en het duurt al anderhalf uh, uur. Ze heeft niet, niet meer tijd dan dit. Dus we gaan even snel. Ja, het zijn eigenlijk die, die laatste slides. Ja. Wij gaan snel doorheen. Want... Je hebt uh, mooi gemaakt op de computer, dit, dit tekst. Uh, waar heb je uh, uh, Google? Uh, dit? Nee, het is, echt mooi, ja. nee, dit is uh, PowerPoint. Power, ja, ja, dat bedoel ik. Ja, je hebt goed voorbereid, echt uh, alles. Ja, maar uh, dit, is een, uh, dit is een programma. Dit, dit is een presentatie van, van een programma van mijn webinars. Het, het is niet alleen voor vandaag, dit heb ik al gebruikt. Dit, uh, dit is ook op mijn website. Oh, oké. Okay. Ja, ja, ja. Ja. Uh, als ik zei om, om van datgene wat je nu hebt, je kan jouw eigen merk maken. Uh, en ja, je, en je, je moet eigenlijk een strategie van maken. Bijvoorbeeld, uh, je hebt al je niche. Dat je zegt uh, dat je wil die mensen helpen zodat ze hun uh, gezonde levensstijl leiden. Ja, ja beter, beter woord is uh, inspireren, laat ik het zo zeggen. Gewoon ja, helpen en ook inspireren. Inspireren, maar je moet ook zoiets bedenken zodat je geld daarmee kan verdienen. Snap je? Dat, je gaat dat, dat, is, dat is ook mijn doel. Dat jij gaat mensen helpen, maar dat je kan ook geld daarmee verdienen. Maar de vraag is hoe. Daarom heb ik jou gezegd om op te schrijven wat, hoe en waarom. Ja. ja? Dus hoe ga je geld verdienen hiermee? Wat ga je aan die mensen aanbieden? Dat, uh, dat ze hun, hun gezonde levensstijl kunnen, kunnen opbouwen. Dat ze ook uh, gezond blijven. Dat ze fit zich ja. voelen en alles. Daar dan zit ik dus te denken om extra hulp uh, in te schakelen daarover. Want uh, uh -huh. ja, moet ik uh, video's van mezelf maken en een uh, aparte website maken waarbij mensen moeten zeg maar, uh, betalen om mijn video te kunnen kijken. Ik, ik weet niet waar te beginnen. Dat is een heel goede vraag. Je hebt, uh, je hebt structuur nodig. Je moet structuur creëren. Je moet, ja, ja. Je moet een, een programma creëren. Die trainings moet je creëren. Of in het Nederlands of in het Engels. Het maakt niet zoveel uit. Wat je wilt. Maar en als hoe je, doe ik dat? Daarom is deze presentatie om eigenlijk. Uh, je moet heel specifiek en heel duidelijk uh, naar alle vragen beantwoorden die ik heb jou gegeven. Een beetje ook gaan voorstellen <laughs> en denken, wat wil je ja, aan, is... aanbieden? Het is je best moet... wel veel. Vind je het erg om mij te sturen, dit? Dat ik, uh, daar heb ik het download in mijn laptop. Kan ik altijd lezen. Uh, nee, maar ik moet jou uitleggen. Dit, ook al, al ga ik jou dit geven, ik weet het 100% dat je niet alles begrijpt. Ik heb dit al gedaan met andere mensen. En toen heb ik toegestuurd, ze, ze, wisten, ze wisten niet waaraan moesten ze beginnen. Want daar gaat het om. Je moet weten, ja, ja, okay. je moet weten waaraan moet je beginnen. Of waarmee moet je beginnen. Snap je het? Oké, okay, voor mij is geen probleem. Ik stuur ja, okay. dit op. En wat ga je hiermee doen? Dan heb ik het in mijn laptop. Dan kan ik altijd noteren hier. En dan kan ik altijd elke dag lezen. En ja... Sorry, ik heb een beetje honger. Inspireren. Dus, uh, je hebt me echt aan het denken gezet. Dus, uh, ik vind het mooi. Dit. Mm -hmm. Zo. Er zijn uh, duizenden mensen eigenlijk die jouw advies nodig hebben. Weet je dat? Ja. Ik ga jou helpen. Er zijn bijvoorbeeld mensen die diabetes hebben, die suikerziekte hebben. Ja. En door 
door hun uh, jouw advies te geven om bijvoorbeeld minder suiker te gaan gebruiken, dan kunnen dat segment mensen uh, kan, uh, helpen. Dit is alleen maar een voorbeeld. Ja. Dat betekent ook uh, jouw uh, doelgroep segmenteren, targeten. Je moet heel, heel specifiek weten wie ga je helpen, wat ga je doen en hoe. Je kan niet iedereen helpen, anders die mensen raken in die war. Snap je? Ja, nee, ik moet echt specifiek. Ja. ja, dan moet je gaan denken, wat ga je aan die mensen aanbieden? We kunnen ook brainstormen, ja. Dat, uh, dat heb ik ook met meerdere mensen gedaan. En oké, okay, jij wilt hun uh, inspireren door hun, leven, door hun gezonde levensstijl te leiden, maar hoe? Niet alleen inspiratie, maar je moet ook een oplossing geven aan die mensen. Hoe kunnen zij hun probleem oplossen om gezond te blijven, fit te blijven? Ja. Dus dan moet je iets bedenken. Het belangrijk is om elke dag te praten. Dus dan moet je denken, wat, wat ga je hun geven? Bijvoorbeeld, ik heb kiespijn, ja? Ik heb kiespijn om, en, om, om mijn pijn te doen verdwijnen, dan ga ik naar die, art, naar die tandarts, toch? Precies hetzelfde, ja. iemand die een probleem heeft, dan komt bij jou en zegt, ik heb pijn hier. Wat moet ik doen zodat die pijn verdwijnt? Snap je het? Of bijvoorbeeld iemand komt bij jou en zegt, ik kan s'nachts niet uh, slapen. Geen, helemaal geen... Bijvoorbeeld iemand komt bij jou en zegt, ja, ik... Uh, ik, ik kan uh, adviseren. Ik, bijvoorbeeld iemand zegt, ik heb uh, nachtmerries, ik kan s'nachts niet slapen. Wat kan ik doen om, om, ja, om mijn uh, slaap te verbeteren, om, om te kunnen slapen, om mijn slaaproutine te verbeteren? Bijvoorbeeld, ja, wat ga je zeggen? Mijn advies, zou, mijn advies is, uh, mijn advies is uh, om, uh, om voor het slapen gaan thee te drinken en een boek te lezen en uh, niet met uh, mobiel bezig te zijn. En uh, ik, ik doe dat zelf en uh, het heeft mij uh, erg geholpen. Dus, uh, want de meeste mensen, uh, voordat ze slapen gaan, blijven ze zeg maar in dat mobiel bezig. En dan, uh, ja, moeilijk om in slaap te vallen. Zelfs met uh, films kijken. Dan uh, ja, maar sommige je... vallen in slaap tijdens... Ja, maar je moet ten eerste die mensen vragen waarom kun jij niet slapen? Wat is de oorzaak? Je moet de oorzaak vinden. En dan komen we ook met een oplossing, ja? Ja. Je moet vragen waarom Ja, tuurlijk. Niet... Ik vraag ook uh, altijd waarom, waarom, dit, waarom dat. Uh, dat vraag ik altijd. W wat, kijk, wat is de oorzaak? En dan, dan maak je een programma van dit. Als je gaat vinden wat is de oorzaak, dan kun je een oplossing creëren voor hun, hun programma. En dan maak je een training van dat, en dan ga je die mensen adviseren. Dat is wat ik probeer jou uh, duidelijk te maken, ja. Dus daarom, oh. heb je die, daarom heb je dit nodig. Snap je? En ja, dan uh, discover who is your best client. Dus je moet ook jouw beste klant kennen. Wat zijn uh, zijn verwachtingen? Wat wil hoe oud is die? Uh, welke leeftijd uh, of welke categorie leeftijd mensen ga je helpen? Dan moet je precies weten wat ze willen, wat ze nodig hebben. Om, om een oplossing eigenlijk te creëren voor hun. Ja, nee, ik ben sowieso voor jong en oud. Ik, ik heb geen grenzen, zeg maar. Bij mij is iedereen welkom. Ik ja, nee. Iedereen dat, vrouwen. dat snap ik, maar dat, gaat, maar dat gaat niet. Je moet echt je segmenteren. Uh, dit betekent dat uh, je moet een bepaalde leeftijd kiezen. Bijvoorbeeld vanaf 25 tot 55 jaar of 65. Of vanaf 30 tot 65. Zoiets. Maar je bedoelt uh, kiezen voor, de, voor mijn pagina of kiezen voor in de video uh, als ik praat? En, uh, wat nee, je precies? nee, dat is om, om jouw strategie te, te creëren. Dit is allemaal marketing. 
Snapet. Je moet dit doen. En wat, wat houdt de woord strategie? Wat houdt het in? Dingen stap voor stap doen? Wat is dat woord strategie? Uh, nee, nee stra strategie bijvoorbeeld. Uh, dit houdt in alles. Uh, jouw logo, jouw design, de oplossing die jij gaat aanbieden. Door jouw strategie, die mensen gaan jou herkennen. Snap je het? Die cultuur ook van jouw bedrijf. Uh, waardoor word je herkend door de mensen. Bijvoorbeeld als iemand zegt, oh, ik ken Veronica omdat zij is een business NLP coach. Dus ze, ze biedt uh, transformationele programma's aan. Bijvoorbeeld, ja. Of, ik, ja. of als iemand me vraagt, uh, Nancy, wie is Nancy? Dan zeg ik, oh, ik ken Nancy omdat zij een model is. Of ze, ze heeft een uh, beautiful, uh, beauty pagina of uh, uh, natural lifestyle pagina op Facebook of een website. Snap je het? Over natuurlijke schoonheid, ja. Ja, zo, zoiets, bijvoorbeeld, ja. Waardoor die, die mensen herkennen jou. En dat is, dat is een deel van, jou, van jouw strategie. Ja. Maar jouw strategie moet nog doorontwikkeld worden. Want je bent nog aan, aan het begin, zeg maar. En om die... Je moet oh ook... nee hoor, ik heb nog boven de 100 volgers. Ik heb boven de 100 volgers. Ja, maar dat is nog heel weinig. Uh, bijvoorbeeld. Ja. Ik wil mensen kennen me. Kijk, ik ben niet, uh, ik ben, ik ben niet bekend, maar toch veel mensen kennen me. En ik heb ook heel veel contacten. Maar dat is, uh, ja. Nee, nee ik, bedoel niet, ik bedoel niet over uh, hoeveel mensen jou kennen. Ik bedoel om, om je merk op te bouwen. Snap je het? Uh, je moet nog heel veel ontwikkelen. Uh, Intern in het merk, maar dat is aan jou. Ik probeer jou alleen te helpen. Het is aan jou om te bepalen uh, okay. wat ga je doen en hoe ga je doen en wanneer ga je dat doen. Snap je het? Uh, dus ja. ja, dat is wat ik zei. Je, je moet een, een uh, oplossing creëren om de pijn van de mensen te gillen. Ja? Als, als, als iemand zegt, ja, ik, uh, ik heb uh, hoofdpijn. Wat moet ik doen? Op een natuurlijke manier, zonder pillen te gebruiken, bijvoorbeeld, ja. En, ja. ja bijvoorbeeld, je kan hun leren hoe kunnen zij die stress vermijden. Wat kunnen ze doen om niet gestrest te raken? Bijvoorbeeld, ja. Of, ja. Of, 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 of je kunt hun leren om... Uh, om mooie relaties te creëren, bijvoorbeeld met hun familie, vrienden, dit soort dingen. Ja. Dat is ook een deel van je uh, van, van uh, uh, gezonde levensstijl. Ja. Gewoon door positief te zijn, ja. door, door goed te communiceren, door posi positief te communiceren ook naar elkaar toe. Ja. En hier, ja. zoals je, dit zei ik al, discover the age, job, income, expenses, mindset, graduation, lifestyle, expen, exp, uh, expectances. Dit betekent dat om, ja, om, om, uh, om jouw beste klant goed te leren kennen, dan moet je alles over, over uh, hun weten. Wat is hun leeftijd, zoals ik al zei, hun werk, inkomen, hoeveel ze verdienen. Uh, hoe zij denken ook, hoe, hoe goed ontwikkeld ze zijn, uh, hoeveel, ja, hoeveel per maand, wat is hun salaris, hoe, hoe zij leven ook. Maar dit heb je nodig eigenlijk om hun te kunnen helpen, om, om te ontdekken uh, wat ga je voor hun doen voor deze mensen. En hoeveel ja. geld hebben zij eigenlijk om aan, aan jouw programma te besteden? Ja. Nee, klopt. En, en dan, dan ja, je kan ook iemand interviewen, bijvoorbeeld. Als jij zegt dat je 100 volgers hebt, dan kun je iemand uitnodigen voor een interview en vraag gewoon uit nieuwsgierigheid. Een persoon, een meisje bijvoorbeeld. Vraag uh, dit allemaal wat ik jou net zei. 
uh, haar uh, leeftijd, wat voor werk ze doet, hoeveel ze verdient, wat ze verwacht, bijvoorbeeld, van jouw pagina. En haar denkwijze. Ja. Wat voor diploma ze heeft, hoe hoog opgeleid ze is. Het is heel belangrijk om dat te doen, om, om achter te komen hoe, de, hoe jouw doelgroep in elkaar zit. Ja? En uh, ja. da, dan, oh, eenmaal dat jij dat gedaan hebt, dan, dan moet je uh, ja, vragen uh, hoe serieus is die persoon om echt verantwoordelijkheid te dragen om aan haar of zijn gezondheid te gaan werken, om gezond te gaan leven. Bijvoorbeeld, je zei, ja, ik heb deze pagina, maar toch, ik leef niet helemaal, of ik leef niet helemaal in een gezonde levensstijl, omdat ik nog suiker gebruik, bijvoorbeeld, ja. En als iemand zo zegt, dan, dan moet je zeggen, oké, okay, ik heb hier uh, de oplossing voor jou. In plaats van suiker, dan kun je dit bijvoorbeeld gebruiken, om geen suiker te eten, ja omdat dit niet goed voor ja. jouw goud is. Ik zou bijvoorbeeld dit ja, van... Aan tanden ook, inderdaad. Ik zou bijvoorbeeld van jou dit kunnen leren. Dat, hoe, hoe kan ik gezond leven? Want ik ben iemand die alles eet. Ik eet in chocola en tart en cremes en <laughs> alle zoetigheden. Nee, chocola eet ik heel weinig. Ik eet meer fruit dan, dan snacks, zeg maar. Dat is het uh, bij mij. Uh... Mm -hmm. <laughs> ik heb altijd thuis chocola. Uh, ik bedoel fruit. <laughs> ja, nee, dat heb ik ook. Maar, to <laughs> dat heb ik ook na maar toch, ik vind chocola super lekker. Ja. ja, ik ook. En uh, pure chocola is eigenlijk gezond voor de huid. Pure, dat zijn cacaobonen. Ja. Dus, uh, dat is sowieso. Ja, dus ja, dit, dit soort dingen, snap je? Dus dan, dan moet je hun een oplossing aanbieden dat, uh, dat ze gaan bij jou komen. Waarom dan moeten deze mensen bij jou komen voor jouw training of advies? Dat zijn gelijk een beetje wat je moet begrijpen waarom ik zoveel vragen stel, waarom je dit nodig hebt. Want wanneer, om je programma te, te creëren, heb je deze informatie nodig voor jezelf. Oké. Okay. En... Uh, ja, die, die kwaliteiten die jij uh, als coach, als je coach wilt worden, moet je hebben om hun te motiveren, te inspireren, uh, goed te zijn, dat ben je al, uh, en begripvol ja. ook zijn. Ja, uh, om die mensen te helpen natuurlijk. Ja. En over die strategieën, ja. we hebben net gehad. Uh, je moet ook eigenlijk uh, beslissen jouw uh, methode. Hoe ga je jouw uh, strategie implementeren om je merk van te maken? Zo, zodat uh, dat de mensen gaan jou herkennen door, door jouw merk. Ja? Bijvoorbeeld als ze jouw website zien of als ze horen jou praten, dan zeggen ze, oh, ik ken Nancy. Oh, Nancy doet dat, 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 dat. Snap je? Ja, of net, uh, ja, dat zeggen mensen al. Wat op Natural Beauty, Nancy. Oh. Ja, precies. Dat die mensen gaan zeggen, oh oké, okay, ik herken Nancy omdat zij dit doet. Ja, ja Nancy is uh, allemaal uh, moeder natuur en je weet toch, na alles natuurlijk. Dus, uh, ja, dan moet je ook familie, dus, ja, dan uh, dan moet je ook je plan, plan van aanpak maken om, 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 om dit te kunnen realiseren voor jezelf. Hè. En... Content natuurlijk uh, over jouw niche. Hmm, en hier begint dat alles. Uh, dit moet je echt. Wat? Aan je niche? Niche, niche. Noteer het, dit is heel belangrijk. En je moet jou, jouw boodschap oh, vinden ik... voor, voor jouw niche. Je, je moet ook gaan googlen en, en zoeken wat niche betekent. Ja. Ja. Eigenlijk die content of jouw programma die je gaat creëren, uh, je moet eerst jouw niche vinden en dan, als je jouw niche hebt gevonden, dan kun je 
dan jouw programma creëren. Eerst jouw strategie en dan jouw programma. Je moet eigenlijk ook jouw boodschap creëren voor de mensen. En fijn marketing. Is uh, dingen verkopen? Wat is nou, precies marketing? Your marketing message, het uh, it, it is jouw slogan, wat, uh, jouw belofte, jouw merkbelofte, wat beloof je aan de mensen, wat ga je voor hen oplossen? Ah, oké, okay. wat, wat uh, presenteer ik in... in uh, ja. ja, bijvoorbeeld, uh, Nike zegt, just do it, dat is hun slogan. Door sporten. Van Nike? Nike zegt, just do it. Just do it. En dat is wat jij moet ook doen. Dat is jouw boodschap van jouw merk. Die slogan. Ja. Die slogan. Je moet eigenlijk zoiets uh, kort bedenken. Zo so een oh, kort. Dus, uh, dat, dat is jouw naast, belofte. Naast, dat is jouw belofte. Mijn slogan is. Ja, Top Natural Beauty is mijn slogan. Maar daaronder zijn nog een paar woorden dat horen bij die slogan. Oké. Okay. Bij die naam. En dat is een belofte die je waar moet gaan maken. Dus je moet dat waar gaan maken voor de mensen. Wat daar onderin ja. staat, ik moet... dan moet je dat in, in je programma transformeren. Snap je? Ja. Dus het is best wel pittig. Nee, ja, <laughs> uh, is ook. En dan moet je ook uh, denken, hoe ga je die mensen aantrekken naar jou toe? Wat ga je die mensen aanbieden? Hm. Dus uh, ja, welk programma, welke trainingen wil je gaan aanbieden, zodat die mensen naar jou toe komen? En die eerste vraag die je moet stellen, dan moet je afvragen waarom. Waarom moeten die mensen bij jou komen? En deze vraag moet je zelf beantwoorden, opschrijven. Waarom zouden die mensen bij jou moeten komen? Wat ga je voor hen doen? Mm, ja. Ja? Ja. Dat maar, is je, vraag, ja. maar je moet zo doen dat de mensen moeten jou uh, vertrouwen. Dus datgene wat ga je hun aanbieden, het moet hun inspireren, motiveren, waardoor ze ook gezond blijven. Want, ja. dat, want dat, dat is eigenlijk uh, wat, wat jij wilt aanbieden, toch? Ja. Jij wilt ja, wel... Voor nu, voor nu heb ik alleen maar foto's, maar ik wil ook video's, zeg maar. Echt online. Dat wil ik ook. Ik heb nu alleen maar foto's. Ja, maar jij wilt mensen helpen. En tekst. Ja, je wilt mensen helpen die een gezonde levensstijl willen leiden. Maar welke mensen specifiek? Welk probleem ga je oplossen? Schrijf het op voor jezelf. Welk probleem ga ik oplossen? Door... Mensen die, die van dieren houden, die van natuur houden, die, die gezond willen leven. Die mensen. En dan als jij dit mensen doet... Mensen die, 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 die niet roken en die ja... Als jij, als jij dit doet, uh, specifiek gaat omschrijven, uh, dan hierdoor dan kun je uh, meer vertrouwen creëren naar de mensen toe. Maar dit moet ook verschijnen ook op jouw Facebook pagina, op jouw website. Ik ga met jou uh, de naam van mijn website delen. Met is alles is in het Engels. Alles wat je op de website ziet is door mijzelf gemaakt. Behalve het design. design. Het design is door mijn dochter gemaakt. Geef niks, ik, ik kan Engels. Ik begrijp Engels, ik lees Engels, ik schrijf Engels. Ja. ja. Uh, maar uh, het is best wel ingewikkeld als je niet weet waar het over gaat, mijn website. Ik snap het niet waarom schrijf je met, uh, met hoofdletters, maar zou wel. Ja, ik, ik heb jou een berichtje opgestuurd. Is in de chat. Heb je hem? Kijken. Ik 
kan ik dit naar beneden? Oh. Business Power Academy. Uh, .net. Zie je aan de rechterhand van jou bovenaan staat moor of meer? Moor. Klik daarop en dan zie je chat. Oeps. Heb je het gevonden? Nee. Hmm. Heb je een mouse? Ja. En jouw mouse, jouw mouse is aan de rechterhand, toch? Uh, uh, ja, ik ben op mijn laptop uh, aan het uh, aaien. Ik heb niet zo'n losse muis. Oh, Oké, okay, dus dan maar het is aan de rechterhand. Ja. En, en als je bovenaan gaat, uh, uh, in de balk waar alle opties zijn, heb je, heb je dan de microfoon, dan heb je de video, dan heb je security, dan heb je de participants en dan heb je new share. Is bij jou in het Nederlands of Engels? Engels. Hide, ik, ik lees hide video panel, request, annotate, exit, full screen. Side by side modus. En dan, je bent ergens aan. Als jij op... Uh, op die... ik, ik zie wat jij zit. Ik ben op jouw scherm. Daarom. Ik denk dat die, die scherm delen moeten we even wegdoen. Nee, nee, nee. Dat heeft niks mee te maken. Nee, nee. Uh, als je moor ziet, dan zie je chat. Bij moor, bij de rechterhand. Moor. Je ziet moor en dan remote control. Annotate. Oh, je hebt me een link uh, gestuurd. Ja, dat klopt. Maar dat is wat ik zeg. Heb ja. ik je nu getypt? Oh. Ja, ja. Ik zie jou. Dat ik zie het. Ja. Ah, ja. Klaar? Oh, chat. Bij mij staat chat. Bij mij staat niet more. Bij mij staat gewoon beneden chat, screens, record, react, reacties. Ik heb ook emoticons. Ja, yeah, ja, dat klopt. Ja, maar staat chat. Eerst staat chat. En daar waar ja, is ja. chat? Ja, oké. Okay. Dus ja. klaar. Dus ja, dat, dan kun je gewoon op mijn website gaan kijken als je wil. Maar het is, je kan daar ook zelfs je, uh, uh, naar webinars gaan. Uh, er is heel veel meer uh, consultations. En, en uh, al die content wat je gaat op mijn website lezen, is, lezen is door mijzelf geschreven. Alles, alles, alles. Alles, de hele website zelf gemaakt. Wauw, knap. Uh, ik heb die content zelf geschreven, maar het uh, design is door mijn dochter uh, ontworpen. Maar de website is gemaakt door iemand. Niet, ik heb uh, die website niet ontworpen. Uh, dit is geen normale website. Dit is een heel ingewikkelde website. Dit is voor uh, universiteiten, voor business coaching uh, bedrijven. Uh, waarbij kun je ook jouw eigen account maken. Je kunt ook okay. op, op, het is een e-learning online platform. Je kan ja, daar ook je, je account maken en dan krijg je toegang, zeg maar, uh, tot andere uh, uh, studenten, mensen ook zoals jou, zeg maar. En, en dan ontmoet je met hun online. En dan kunnen we met elkaar praten en uh, vragen stellen. Je krijgt daar ook heel veel informatie, uh, interviews, uh, webinars, uh, uh, templates, uh, boeken, van alles en wat. Ja. En daar heb ik ook een live forum. En uh, in dit live forum dan ontmoeten wij met heel veel mensen. Met uh, mm -hmm. coaches uh, van de hele wereld. Uh, mentors, ook mensen, adviseurs. Van alles en, en wat, zeg maar, wie en wat doet. Jij hoorde net, uh, Madalena doet uh, 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 massages, uh, zeg maar, body healer. Ja, ja. En dan zij heeft een programma van gemaakt. En door haar programma, dat gaat ze... Uh, 
had ze uh, mensen adviseren ja? en, en leren hoe zij met hun lichaam moeten omgaan om niet ziek te worden. Oh, ja, ja. ja. Oh, Snap je? En, en zoiets zou jij bijvoorbeeld ook kunnen doen door, door iets aan te bieden. Dus jij moet iets bedenken om, om, om je probleem op te lossen of die pijn van die mensen te healen, ja? En moet ik dat, zeg maar, uh, met de tekst of moet ik dat presenteren op video? Moet ik mezelf opnemen? Wat vind jij wat ik zou echt moeten doen? Uh, het ligt aan jouw doel. Daarom heb ik jou gevraagd, wat is jouw missie en wat is jouw visie en wat is jouw goal, uh, doel, purpose? Dus jij moet, dat heel, ja, jij moet dat heel goed onderbouwen, opschrijven voor jezelf. Ja. Mijn, mijn visie en missie is ook om zeg maar, video's mezelf op te nemen. Nee, maar dat... Eigenlijk... Nee, nee, dat is... nee, 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 ik kan jou onderbreken, nee. Dat is wat anders, dat is wat jij wilt. Maar je missie is bijvoorbeeld dat je gaat uh, de mensen leren hoe zij hun gezonde levensstijl gaan uh, leiden. Dat kan jouw missie zijn. Oh ja, 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 klopt. Ja, en jouw visie bijvoorbeeld, waar ben jij nu en waar wil je zijn binnen nu en drie of vijf jaar? Ja. En da daar dan moet je een uh, plan van aanpak maken van, van jouw uh, uh, doelen. Doelen op korte en lange termijn. En dan ga je jouw visie onderbouwen. En hoe ga je aan de slag? Hoe ga je dat doen? Hoe ga je dat aanpakken? Stap voor stap. Dat moet je omschrijven voor jezelf. Dat is heel belangrijk. Want dat is de kern van hoe ga je groeien. Hoe ga je jouw bedrijf ontwikkelen? En hoe ga je ook die mensen helpen? Maar hoe ga je ook jezelf helpen hierdoor? En door andere mensen te helpen, ze helpen je ook jezelf. Ja? Ja. En ja, jouw business model. Dus ja, je moet ook je business model creëren voor, uh, voor jezelf, voor jouw business. Hoe ga je geld hiermee verdienen? Heel belangrijk, hè? dan moet je ook kunnen leven. Ja. Uh, ja, zoals ik net zei al, je uh, plan van aanpak, actionplan. Wat ga je de mensen leren? Uh, welke programma wil ik hun uh, aanbieden? Eén uh, of twee of drie, het ligt aan jou, maar uh, jij ga met één uh, online programma beginnen en dan kun je een tweede maken. En dan moet je ook aan dit programma ook je naam geven. Je moet met je naam dit programma benoemen. En dan moet je ook, ook uh, denken voor hoe, hoe lang gaat dit programma zijn. Eén maand, twee maanden, drie maanden. Hoe langer het programma is, hoe duurder is. Hoe Korter, goedkoper. Ja. Als, als jij een programma van één maand gaat aanbieden, kun jij bijvoorbeeld zo je ja, 350, 390 euro vragen ja, per programma, per persoon. Maar het, het kan ook zo zijn dat het een heel intensieve programma is. Heel heftig is, zoals deze van mij nu. Ja, lange, ja. Dan kan veel duurder zijn. Het kan ook 1500 euro zijn. Het kan ook 2000 euro zijn. Het kan ook 3000 zijn, ja. Het ligt eraan uh, welke waarde heeft dat programma. En wat gaan die mensen daar, daar, uh, daarmee leren? Ja. Hoe, ja, ik hoor, ik hoor vaak mensen zeggen, uh, tijd. Kost geld? Tijd is geld of zo? Sorry. Ja, weet je waarom? Omdat mensen die geld verdienen, bijvoorbeeld vooral die, ja. die klanten hebben, uh, dan uh, als je bijvoorbeeld twee uren uh, doorbrengen met een klant, betekent dat ze geld verdienen. Daarom zeggen ze dat de tijd kost, uh, kost geld. 
Bijvoorbeeld, ja. Ja, want in die twee uur kunnen ze belangrijkere dingen doen dan alleen maar naar, ja, bijvoorbeeld. Ja, ja. Ik snap het, ja. Ja, ja. Dus ja, die, dan moet je al die, die dingen gewoon bedenken voor jezelf. En dan moet je ook die sales leren. Je moet ook leren verkopen. Oehoe, dat is het grootste probleem van die alle ondernemers op deze aarde. Dat hmm. vind ik super interessant. <laughs> hmm. Dit is een, ik ga je een aparte presentatie voor dit maken. En dit is een van de moeilijkste, moeilijkste onderdeel voor alle ondernemers. Verkopen. We hebben hierover gehad in het Engels met Madeleine. Als je herinner je nog dat ze zei, ja, maar ik ga het marketing, maar dat is niet marketing, dat is verkopen. Die mensen zijn super manipulatief als het gaat om verkopen. Ze bedenken alle trucjes van de wereld alleen om geld te krijgen, maar dat is niet nodig. Weet je waarom? Als iemand echter jouw programma nodig heeft en, en ze zien dat je echt goed daarin bent, ze gaan zelf zeggen, oké, okay, ik wil jouw programma. Dan hoef je er niks voor te doen. Daarom, ja. moet je, daarom moet je zo diep ingaan op, op alle onderwerpen die ik heb benoemd. Want ja. hoe meer ga je dat doen, hoe beter ga je daarin worden. Dan da meer, meer informatie ga je er, eh, eruit halen. Uh, zie je, de, deze, deze twee mensen zijn twee coaches... Okay. Uh, eentje komt uit Californië en eentje komt uit Ecuador. Uh, Dan, Fri okay. uh, Dan, Dan Freedom, uh, hij is een trauma coach. En David Hurtado, die komt uit Ecuador, hij is een um, quantum coach. Maar het staat wel onderin, ik weet niet of je dat kan zien. Ja, nee, ik lees scherp. Life coach, links en rechts is quantum coach. Ja, ik heb wel goed lezen. En een quantum coach gaat over uh, hoe je jouw uh, diepste potentieel kan uithalen, ontdekken in jezelf. Datgene wat je niet gebruikt, zit er al in jezelf. Maar dat gebruik je niet. Ja, omdat je geen aandacht daaraan besteedt. En dat heeft elke mens. Ja. Uh, Oké. Okay. En hmm. ja, in, in dit programma. Ja, dat is wat, wat jij eigenlijk uh, krijgt van dit programma. Individuele, uh, hoe kan ik dat zeggen? Alles komt in het Engels. Begeleiding, individuele begeleiding. En dan, uh, je kan ook je uh, plan van aanpak maken. Uh, bijvoorbeeld als jij uh, met mij samen doet. En deze programma duurt drie maanden en het is een heel intensieve programma, als je dat merkt, vanaf het begin. Ja. Uh, en één keer in de week, dan uh, krijg je tweeënhalf uur uh, begeleiding. Een half uur heb je eigenlijk tijd om vragen te stellen, ja. Als, als, als voor jou niet duidelijk is. En voor mensen, maar dit programma is eigenlijk, uh, of deze presentatie is voor de mensen die mijn programma uh, willen kopen. En ik heb dit uh, programma vooral voorbereid, vooraf voorbereid. Uh, hier staat eigenlijk, hier gaat het over verkopen, dan kun je ook waarschijnlijk iets leren. Uh, je moet sowieso een e-book schrijven, jijzelf, over datgene wat je gaat doen. En ik heb bijvoorbeeld een e-book Master Your Life aangeboden voor dit programma. Dat die mensen kunnen alles in hun leven veranderen wat ze niet leuk vinden. En dan, uh, ze krijgen bijvoorbeeld uh, met deze presentatie ook een webinar, mm -hmm. een video. Uh, zoals nu, wij bijvoorbeeld samen zijn, uh, dan ga ik dit opnemen. En dan de mensen kunnen hier naar kijken. Uh, en dan kunnen we ook je strategie creëren. En dan ook die layout van, van, uh, van die presentatie kunnen ook 
uh, designen en creëren, want dat is heel belangrijk, zou je een presentatie hebben ook nodig om jouw eigen programma te presenteren aan de mensen die jouw advies nodig hebben. Ja? Ja. En dan moet je ook leren verkopen. Ja? Hier begint het. Bonuses. Je moet leren uh, om bonuses aan te bieden. Gratis. Je moet je een grens stellen tussen datgene wat je gratis gaat geven en voor wat de mensen gaan jou betalen. Okay. Uh, wil jij dat ik ga dit inzoomen? Uh, ja, is goed. Ik ga proberen om dat te doen. Kun je dat goed zien? Um, ja, ik, ik zie het eigenlijk ook zo. Je hoeft eigenlijk niet in te zoomen. Oké, okay, maar... is, goed, is goed. Dan laat ik het zo. En uh, dan bijvoorbeeld over personal development, over persoonlijke ontwikkeling, uh, templates en dan de waarde zeg maar, van, uh, van uh, persoonlijke ontwikkeling is 500 euro. Ja? En die krijg je gratis, bijvoorbeeld of, of iemand anders. En consultancy, dat is het advies. Uh, zeg maar, wat je krijgt, het is ook gratis. Maar de waarde daarvan is 5000 euro, dus het is, omdat het heel veel tijd uh, in beslag neemt, ja, elke week. Het is bedoeld voor drie maanden, hè, dat bedrag. Het is niet voor, alleen voor nu. Maar zo moet je ook bij jou berekenen. Hè. Als je gaat jouw eigen programma uh, uh, ontwerpen, dan moet je het totale bedrag berekenen voor twee of drie maanden. Niet alleen voor, voor e één keer. Ja. Oké. Okay. En dan moet je hier opschrijven, totale waarde bijvoorbeeld, van alles bij elkaar is 8.500, maar nu alleen voor 3.500. En dan moet je ook die mogelijkheid aanbieden aan die mensen om in termijn ook te kunnen betalen, zodat iedereen kan, zeg maar, jouw programma kopen. Ja. In 1, 2, 3 of 4 termijnen, ja. En dan bijvoorbeeld mensen die in één keer willen betalen, dan krijg je zo'n programma voor 3000. En mensen die in termijnen gaan betalen, betalen 500 euro meer. Maar dat is standaard bij verkopen. Maar dit moet je nog leren. Ja, oké. Okay. Ja, ja, ja. Um, en uh, over de Toyn of Voice, we hebben al gesproken. Jij vertelde mij de woorden, weet je het nog? Toen je zei die, 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 toen zei ik, ja, dit is de to tone of voice. Uh, mijn, mijn voice. <laughs> van, jou, van jouw merk. Van, van jouw uh, uh, Facebookpagina, wat je te bieden hebt, ja. Oh, oh, ik dacht, je hebt het over mijn stem, hoe ik praat. Nee, 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 nee. Oké. Okay. En dan, dit moet je omschrijven. Describe the, to the tone of voice. Trustable, innovatief, authentiek, bla bla bla. Snap je het nu? Ja. Wat ze daarmee bedoelen met tone of voice, of wat ik daarmee bedoel, niet zei. Je uh, 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 yeah, brengt. Uh, uh, wat wil ik zeggen? Trustable, dat moet uh, vertrouwen zijn, innovatief, uh, authentiek. Moet... Ja, goede, sterke stem, uh, geluid. Nee, het gaat niet over die, die stem. Het voice gaat... betekent in het Engels stem. Ja, maar het gaat over jouw merk, niet over jou. Zoek, zoek, het, zoek het op op Google. Tone of voice of, of a brand. Of tone of voice of, of a brand. Ah, oké. Okay. Het is een beetje nieuwe voor me allemaal. Ja, het is, uh, het is pittig, inderdaad. Maar dan ga ik even straks kijken, niet nu, wanneer ik nu met jou aan de praten. Ja. En hierover heb ik jou ook verteld. Hoe wil jij mensen helpen door, door jouw slogan, door jouw belofte? Want jouw slogan is een belofte. Is datgene wat jij aan de mensen belooft? Dat is jouw slogan. En hier heb ik als voorbeeld genomen Nike helps people through their sport strategy. Just do it. Zie je het? 
sport strategy. Just do. Ah, ja, 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 ja. Betekent dat door sporten en door fit te blijven, ze, ze moeten het gewoon doen. Klaar. Dus zoiets moet je ook bedanken. Ja, ga lekker naar buiten, trek je sportschoenen aan. <laughs> ja, ja, bijvoorbeeld. bijvoorbeeld. Ah, just do it, gewoon spontaan. Dus, uh, ja, ja, ik, ja, jij uh, zou, zou kunnen zeggen gewoon, uh, doe je sportschoenen aan, bijvoorbeeld. Toevallig, toevallig heb ik twee Nike schoenen thuis hier. Dus uh, ik ren ook af en toe buiten. Ja. Uh, heb jij vragen? Vragen? Um... Ik heb eigenlijk wel een vraag, maar daarbij moet ik eigenlijk een scherm delen. Want ik heb uh, bij mensen gezien die zeg maar uh, influencer en uh, op YouTube. Uh, eigenlijk ja. heb ik een, uh, uh, een dame gezien en uh, zij begon uh, uit het niets. En ze creëerde voor haarzelf gewoon iets moois. En zij is dus diegene die zeg maar mensen vertelt, ja, hoe kan je... Zeg maar, als je een echte dame wil zijn en als een echte dame eruit wil zien, moet je dat en dat dragen. Wanneer, welke tijdstip dragen en noem het maar op. Dus, dus eigenlijk, die vraag heeft me echt geïnspireerd. Want oh, oh maar, ja, maar dat is levensstijl. Dan kunnen mensen leren hoe zij op basis van hun eigen manier om te zijn, hun eigen levensstijl kunnen creëren. Als ja. jij hierover wilt hebben, ik kan jou uh, daarbij helpen, maar dan moeten we een andere afspraak maken. Nee, is goed dat we nu uh, ja, klaar voor vandaag. <laughs> ja, want dit, dit heeft bijna drie uur geduurd. Dat is heel lang, hè? Ja, nee, natuurlijk. Uh, uh, maar als je dit wilt, dan ja, je kan je inderdaad dit creëren. Dat, dat je kan die mensen helpen om hun eigen leven en stijl te creëren. En, en vooral als je gericht bent op de vrouwen die hun eigen levensstijl te creëren, ik denk dat je gaat uh, succes krijgen. Want ja. er, er zijn heel veel Hollandse dames die zo niet weten hoe ze, ze moeten zich kleden, bijvoorbeeld. Kijk, je leest mijn <laughs> gedachten nu. Precies. Dat, dat probeer ik al jaren gewoon. Oké, okay, ik wil echt uh, ja zoveel mogelijk me uitbreiden en gewoon, weet je, gewoon, ik blijf gewoon nieuwe dingen leren, dingen, nieuwe dingen doen en uh, hoe kan ik beginnen, waar moet ik beginnen, oké, okay, ik heb nu de, mijn fanpage website, uh, wat mijn titel en mijn portfolio is en ook mijn campagne, dus daar ben ik dat opgestart en, uh, en dit en dat en hoe ga ik, en, uh, ik zet ook alles op papier, niet alles, maar uh, voor de rest, uh, ik heb ook foto gemaakt, dus dan, uh, mm-hmm. maar je dus moet, ik hou je... Het je moet ook heel specifiek zijn um, in, in datgene wat je wilt gaan doen. En je, je een beslissing nemen. Oké, okay, ik ga dit doen en dat ook gaan ontwikkelen. Dat gaan uitwerken. Op papier. Want door de informatie die je gaat uh, opschrijven op papier, dan ga je ook je website uh, moeten gaan, gaan uh, maken. En daarna ook je blog. En daarna ook content creëren. Voor jouw YouTube kanaal. Want jij wilt ook een YouTube kanaal, toch? Uh, ja, ja, toevallig. Ik, ik ben al uh, twee filmpjes uh, van mij op YouTube. Maar dat is meer, zeg maar, foto's van mij op YouTube. Dus. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Ja, maar, maar dat, is, echt... dat is wat anders. Maar je moet ook uh, le- leren presenteren dat je tijdens jouw uh, speech, dat je gaat je... Je een filmpje opnemen. Je moet ook, uh, waarschijnlijk heb je al ervaring. Ik heb jou nog niet gevraagd. Maar je moet ook ja. weten hoe, hoe je moet ga, gaat praten. Je moet jezelf ja. eerst presenteren. Je moet jezelf eerst presenteren en zeggen wie jij bent. Uh, en uh, uh, wat, wat je doet, waarom je doet en wie ga je helpen. En voor wie is eigenlijk jou, jouw kanaal. Klopt, klopt. Je hebt helemaal gelijk. Ja, er komt heel veel bij kijken. Dus uh, ik doe mijn best. Dus uh, dank je wel voor dit alles. Uh, ja, ik weet niet wat te zeggen. Dus... Ja, gra- graag, graag gedaan. Nee, nee, maar toevallig, ik ga deze afspraak vanavond en je belde op. En toen, ik dacht, oké, okay, het is een goede gelegenheid om jou uit te nodigen om, 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 om deel te nemen. En, uh... Nee, dank je wel. Het is wel een hele eer om zo'n... Uh... 
uh, vrouw zoals jij te ontmoeten. En, uh, ja. oh, dank je wel. Ja, maar jij bent ook geweldig. Jij doet ook heel ja. veel dingen. Uh, ja. wat is, wat, hoe, hoe heb je dit ervaren? Is het pittig voor jou? Uh, Klein beetje, maar ik hou wel van een beetje uitdaging. Dus dat is voor mij wel goed. Dus uh, ik ga erover nadenken en uh, ik ga erachteraan sowieso. En uh, ja, ik hoop dat we gewoon nu uh, ja, dat we afspraak maken voor volgende week. Of? Ja, wij kunnen een afspraak maken. Maar liefst, het liefst in, in het weekend. Klopt, uh, ja. Ik wil ook liefst in het weekend, natuurlijk. Dan, dan door de week werk ik in de school. Ja, maar de, dan heb ik meer tijd. Uh, even kijken, ik moet even mijn agenda bijpakken en, en kijken wanneer ik tijd heb. Zullen we opnieuw op zaterdag doen? Op dezelfde tijdstip? En, uh, en uh, zelfde dagen, dus altijd, wacht, nu is het zondag. Uh, elke keer op zondag. Is dat goed? Het is, uh, vandaag is zaterdag. Oh, echt zondag, sorry. Ja, nee, elke keer op zaterdag dan. Uh, ja. uh, ik weet niet of mij elke keer gaat lukken op zaterdag, want ik heb heel veel afspraken. Maar... Uh... Oh, we kunnen doen uh, elke maand, één keer in de maand. Of elke maand, twee keer in de maand? Ik, ik, ga, ik, ik ga kijken. We, gaan, we kunnen aanstaande uh, zaterdag ook hier een afspraak in plannen. Op dezelfde tijdstip. Of laten wij dat om zeven uur avonds doen. Vind ik het best. Ja, in de avond. Nee, perfect. Uh, ja. ja? Dan, ben ik, dan ben ik ook klaar met, met mijn dingen. Met, met alles wat ik doe. Maar dan kan ik ook uh, tijd aan jou besteden, ja? Oké, okay, nee, nee, ik pas me bij jou aan, want ik ben best wel flexibel. Ik kan, ik kan in de ochtend, ik kan in de middag. Dus dan, uh, als, jij, uh, als, jij, als het bij jou past in de avond uh, te zoomen, ik vind het goed. Ja, dus, uh, ja is goed. Ja. Dan wij, wij, wij plannen dit uh, dus op, op 9 januari om uh, 7 uur avonds, ja? Uh, 9 januari, even kijken. Ik, uh, ik noteer alvast in mijn agenda afspraak. Met Nancy. Ja. ja. Uh, N-E-N-S-I. Ja. Om 19 uur. Ja. Ik ga uh, andere half uur... Uh, En dan wordt het niet meer om zes uur, maar om, om acht, negen? Acht uur dertig. Oké. Okay. Oké, okay, twintig uur dertig. Zo, staat in mijn agenda. Ja, dus ik, ja, heb, ik, ik, ik heb hem ik, genoteerd. Ja, ik wens je een fijne avond en uh, ja, ik, wel tristen. Ik, ik, jou, ik, jou, ik jou ook, Nancy, en uh, tot de volgende week. Fijne avond, ja. doeg. Is goed. Uh, Veronica, dank je wel. Graag gedaan, doeg. Ja. Hoe doe je dit uit?